Hey, what up, YouTube? This is Dottie from Ignite Cinemas. And today I'm going to be going over a pretty rad tutorial on how to clone yourself using Final Cut Pro 10. So let's go out there and let's ignite your editing right now. Let's get it. All right, first things first, you're going to want to film a continuous shot of yourself doing various different actions. In this case, I was attempting to dribble a basketball and do some cool tricks. After I finished that up, I began to operate my trap phones, it looks like, trap phone booming. And the last thing I did was squatting, rubbing my hands together, looking like I smelt a bad fart aroma. And those were the actions I chose. Now you guys can get, you guys can add more. But for this sake, I was filming myself, so I used a tripod and uh, a DSLR camera, 7D Mark II to be exact, and I got it done now. Also, I want to I want to give a friendly reminder. When shooting this, please make sure that your lighting is consistent and stays the same, or else it's going to look like trash. I say that because outside when I filmed this, it was uh, steady overcast, nothing but clouds, so I didn't have to worry about the sun. And I've done this before in the past. And it was sunny, and then a random random clouds came rolling through and totally messed up this shot. Inside, it's a lot easier because, I mean, the light pretty much stays the same. So keep that in mind when you're filming, filming this. All right, now back to the scene. So now that I got my scene shot and I'm doing my actions, I'm going to go through and I'm going to pick where I want to stop this. Let's stop the nonsense right there. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna hit my. I'm gonna hit B on the keyboard for the blade. I'm gonna chop that right there. I'm gonna hit A. Then I'm gonna go through and that's the first, first foundation shots on the bottom. And let's do the cell phone one. So I'm on the phone. Hit my blade tool. Select that. Delete that. And I'm on the phone. I'm on the phone. I'm on the phone. Boom. Booming. All right. I like that right there. Bring that up top. Right, let's do the final one. After I'm done with that, get in position. Let's start right there. I'm rubbing my hands together. What up, Playboy? Looking like Birdman. I sniff my fart. And let's stop right there. Yep. Blade. That. And I'm going to add that up top. So now that I got all my blocks lined up like this, I'm going to want to make make it the same length. So I'm going to just go ahead and drag this out. And I'm going to drag that out. So they're all the same length now, stacked on top of each other. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the top block. I to go video here. And I'm going to scroll all the way down. And where it says opacity, I'm going to bring that down to about 50, 50, 54. Basically, so this happens. I'm going to do the same thing for the middle one. I'm on the phone. Come down here and drop that down as well. So about 50, 54. It doesn't, doesn't matter. All right. Bottom one, I leave the same. That's our main scene. So, all right. Now, I've seen in the past, like, people do like a, I call it a bootleg clone effect. And what they'll do is they'll use the crop tool. So, for example, a crop. And then bring this in like that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you all how bootleg this looks. All right. Hide that. And you see that? Like, this is with the crop tool. Look at the, like, it looks darker. It doesn't blend in at all. Like, ugh, it's hurting my eyes. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Undo. Yeah. Today we're going to be using a mask tool, which is a lot more professional and clean. So what we're going to do is we're going to highlight the top, the top block and you're going to go into video effects and you're going to come down to mask and you're going to get your draw mask and go ahead and put that over. Now in this thing you're going to have to, you get a point and you pretty much just connect dots and you go around yourself. So I'm going to go ahead and draw around myself. Okay. And once I'm done with that, you can see already 
it's not blended because this is light and it's dark. So what you're going to want to do is I'm going to come down here, bring the opacity back to 100. And you're going to go under this draw mask right here, make sure it's unlinear. And you're going to play around with the feather. And as you can see, playing around with it. Adjust it accordingly. I mean, play with it. I mean, everything's about your eye and what you see. So I'm going to go ahead. You know what? I'm going to just keep it 100. I'm going I'm to keep it at 100. And we're going to roll with that. That looks pretty blended to me. All right, so the middle scene, I'm on the phone. I'm going to be doing the same thing. I'm going to get the draw mask. Go ahead and bring that up on top of that. I'm going to come over here. Make sure the shape type is linear. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to draw around myself. It's about right. Let's connect the dots. And let's go through now. I'm moving a little bit more in this scene. That's about right. I want to make sure I'm all in it, especially right there. I'll go ahead. Now I'm going to bring that opacity back up. Yep. Let's run through it real quick. I think that would be good right there. I got feather it. Don't forget to feather, guys. I'm gonna keep it hunted on that one too. Just fine tune it. Yep, that's about right. It looks about right right there. It didn't look clean. Yep. Oh, that's the only part. I got a little messed up in the sauce right there. You see that? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this in. It's starting to affect that right there. Yeah, it gets a little tricky. Yeah. Be on the lookout for stuff like that. Clean it up. That's perfect. So now that I have that clean, I'm pretty much done. I'm going to clean it up even more, though. So what I like to do is after I got it all, I like to combine everything. So I'm going to select all the scenes. I'm actually going to create a right click and do a new compound clip. I'm going to name this Dottie Clones Attack. Hit OK. All right, and I'm actually going to quickly color grade this so it looks even more official. So I'm going to come over here, go color. And in the future, guys, I'm going to be doing some actual tutorials on how to color grade. So be on the lookout for that. Subscribe to the channel so you can see some of my techniques to ignite your color grading. But right now, I'm going to do a quick, quick one. Go here, bring that down. Um, everything's pretty much is white balance for the most part, but I'm gonna adjust the exposure. I'm gonna bring that up, bring that down a bit, crush the blacks a little more. Yeah, that's clean. Bring that up a little bit. Black is okay. And that's pretty much it. Like I'm good. I'm in there. Everything looks clean. Pretty easy tutorial, like I said. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Now I want you guys to go ignite your editing and clone yourself and clone your friends. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. If this video helped you out, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button for me and hit that subscribe button as well. I got some amazing tutorials to ignite your editing using Final Cut Pro coming to the channel. So you don't want to miss that and stay tuned. And as always, go ignite. I'm out.